Hi everyone. So um, I'm coming to you tonight um, just to show you um, that my mixes can be used with clear nail polish. I have a buyer on eBay who has um, requested um, to purchase some of my mixes to be used with nail polish and she just wanted to make absolutely sure that these mixes can be used with clear nail polish. Um, so what I've done, okay, I'm going to do a couple for you on camera, but I've already mixed some of these. Now let me see if I can remember which ones were which. Okay. Um, this is the Amazon, the very first, the, the tip one here is the Amazon River Dolphin. Okay. Uh, the next one, the white one, is the Purple Firefish. That's the one in the center. And then you have the pink jellyfish. And then you have the large purple squid. Okay. And then on this nail here, we have Fu Manchu Lionfish at the tip, the green sea anemone underneath that, and then you have the blue line trigger underneath that one, and then at the very base is the round stingray. Okay. Now the way that I am testing these is I'm not actually putting them inside the bottle, okay? Um, what I'm doing, and I'm going to show you that right now, I'm taking, this is just a Ziploc baggie because the nail polish doesn't really stick to that, but I'm taking a couple drops of the clear nail polish, putting it on the baggie, I'm taking a scoop of the glitter mix, which this one is the juvenile batfish. And then I'm stirring it up on here. And by stirring it up, I'm actually forcing the toothpick through the glitter so that it acts as if like you were to really, you know, move it around inside the bottle, shake it up and all of that, it, it resembles rubbing it to where if I did this, okay, I need a little bit more on there because it's getting a little dry. Okay. It would resemble, you know, the bleeding or the miscoloration. Okay. So now that it's wet, really, really wet, I'm going to try to scoop it into a ball. I'm going to take my nail. Okay. And I'm just going to place this right on the tip. Okay. And then I'm going to come in with the polish. And I'm going to spread it around like you would if you were putting it on a nail. So this would resemble the brushing. So if you're going to lose any color, you would lose color during this point. And I'm really playing with them, trying to make them lose their color. And as you can see, the gold dots are still gold and you can still see the black. Okay, with the flashes of red in there as well. So this one does not bleed when mixed with nail polish. Okay, so I'm going to set that there. And then I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to take a couple of drops. 
this time I'm going to go in with the Super Red. And this one has the large hexes in it. I'm going to take the other side of my toothpick. Same thing. Mix it all up. And then I'm just going to scoop it on the nail. Toothpick stuck to me. And then I'm going to come in with the brush and move it around. There's one of those hexagons. And as you can see, the black hexagon is still black. And no bleeding of the glitters. They're still nice, bright, shiny, the way that they're supposed to. Okay. Next, we're going to do the clown fish. I'm going to get a new toothpick. A couple of drops. Get a scoop. Mix it up. And this one has um, the white hand cut mylar in it. And then come in with the clear, thin it out so that way we can see it. There's one of the iridescent hexagons. Maybe a little bit more. And there's your clownfish. And everything still has its color. Some, yeah. There's those. So your juvenile batfish, you can still see the gold that's mixed in there. And then your super red. You can still see the black on the hexagons. Those didn't lose any color. And then the clownfish still has its color. Okay. I'm just going to do a couple more for you. I'm just turning this so that way we have workable space. <coughs> This time I'm going to come in with the green moray. Get a scoop of that. Come in with the other side of my toothpick. Nice pretty green. I should say tealish color. Scoop it up. That can go in there. And then spread it where you want it. So this just resembles it actually mixing in with the nail polish. 
to make sure that it's not going to bleed or fade or any of that. So there you have it. Nice deep rich color. Okay. Let me see if I can find. Here's another white one, and this has red in it, so this should be a good test. This is the Firefish, which is a white base that has the red in it. Oop, I didn't get all the green off of this one. Okay. Couple of drops. And I'm going to scoop up. Baby, you stay away for a moment. And I got that nice red hexagon in there. And with this having the white base, you could definitely tell if that red's going to bleed. And I'm really playing with the hexagon, trying to get it to bleed. It up. Now this was the white base, so it is going to be more iridescent, more clear looking because it has the white. But as you can clearly see, that red hexagon is not bleeding at all. And you can see the orangey chunks that were in there. So no bleeding whatsoever. And let me see. We'll go with this one. One more for the night. And this one here is their coral hawkfish. That's probably going to be too much glitter for that amount of nail polish. And this one, as you can see, has little beads in it. Place it on the nail. Oop. Okay. Now my there you go. Oh, and then that goes right on top of that white. Move it around. And a little bit more. Oop, that's probably too much now. It's going to be very runny. And this one has a bead in it. Oh, here. Bead's coming off. But yeah. Color does not fade. And you can even wipe it off the white where it rolled onto the white. Okay, so I'm just painting it back over the white. But yeah. So there's that. And it still has that holographic play on it. <coughs> so yeah. That's just to show that the colors do not bleed. You do not lose any coloration, fading, or anything during the process. 
and yes you can use these with clear nail polish so I hope that helps and if you have any other questions or comments or concerns feel free to ask but yeah I just wanted to show that these can be used with the nail polish when you mix it in with the nail polish and you don't lose any of the great coloration or the details or anything so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that thanks for watching y'all have a good night bye